And it's been a year since the introduction of electric bird scooters to St. Joseph, and the deal is proving to be beneficial, but community concerns persist. Our Alex Simone has more. The bird's popularity means increased city expectations for the future. Well, I think the popularity um, has increased um, you know, as we anticipated with a new um, type of uh, transportation in the community. Um, there was going to be a heightened sense of excitement um, to use a, a product that currently didn't exist in, in the marketplace. But there are concerns about having the scooters in St. Joseph, especially with riders on city streets. Social media comments indicate residents have mixed feelings on whether the change is beneficial. Resident Guillermo Peña Valladere says conditions make riding on the sidewalk difficult depending what part of the city it is. They have no option to be on but on the street, and that causes a real problem. You're going to maybe possibly see somebody get hurt because I, I almost thought they'd get hit by a car because the car wasn't stopping. The scooters are allowed on some streets under the city's jurisdiction. St. Joseph Police Sergeant James Tun says using the roadway is prohibited on Belt Highway, portions of Frederick Avenue, and other spots designated as state roads. He says another worry is helmet safety. Helmets aren't required but are recommended. Thank God we're not having issues where people are getting in crashes and that's causing an issue. Um, but understand that when you don't wear a helmet, it's one thing to get road rash if you go off. It's another thing to have a head injury. Uh, a lot of times those are pretty serious. Peña Valladares says there is clear value to having the scooters, though St. Joseph might have to build more routes specifically for non-motorists to capitalize on the opportunity. It attracts people to actually want to be downtown. Oh, we have scooters, in, which was great. And that's the positive of it. People want to use them. People are having fun with them. Thompson says the scooters are intended mainly for use downtown. Peña Valladares says one option to improve safety might be restricting use, so they can't be used in the rest of St. Joseph. An expanded version of this story can be found online at newspressnow.com. Alex Simone, News Press Now.